Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you another outfit of the day. Really not trying to make this channel just about clothing per se. Um, since I'm like always at work, I really don't have enough like random things to vlog about. And I don't always have tons of like cute things I'm always wearing, so I definitely take the opportunity when I am wearing something that's not a uniform to make an outfit of it, show you of it. I do plan on doing a shoe collection for you guys on this channel and talking about TV shows and whatnot. So I'll show you today what I have on. Okay, so what you already see in the camera is this sort of uh, turtleneck. It's kind of a cowl, cowl neck. A lot of people hate that term. It is what it is. It's just a style of draping. Um, to get this kind of draping going, if you're a fashion student, it's a uh, it has to be cut on the bias, which means that the fabric is held at a vertical, um, sorry, it's in a diamond form, I'm trying to come up with a word for that, and then you drape it on the model that way, and that is, and you start, you know, cutting and tailoring from there, and that's what you call cut on the bias. And this is just a sleek, um, sweater, um, I don't want to make you motion sickness, so I just turned the camera off to pan down. And it's just a sleek sweater dress. It's cut off at the knee, so, and then it has the ribbing at the end so that it doesn't, you know, fray and it looks sleek and put together. Um, the dress is from Ann Taylor, um, which means that it's one of those companies that, you know, you get a lot for your money, but you don't necessarily have to spend a lot of money. It's decent um, quality. The belt is this um, wide belt. Um, a lot of more people can wear wide belts and they actually think, a lot of people think it actually cuts them. Really it does is tailor and break up an outfit. It's really nice. You have the, um, you know, it does stretch so anyone can wear it. And of course you just put it through the loop that fits you best. And it works well to break up an outfit, putting it high on the waist versus low on the hip. Also helps to elongate the lower half of your body. And then this jacket that I'm wearing is not leather. It's from Target. It's got one um, button. It's got, uh, I guess you would say, yeah, these are darts. These have three darts in the inner elbow. So it's just a lot of fun. It doesn't cost anything. Once again, it's just pleather. You can definitely see at the collar that it's kind of cheap. I've had it for several years though, so it's actually in great condition. And I don't mind that. It's a little more distressed than it was when I bought it. For my shoes. And then for my shoes, these are from Steve Madden. I've had them for a while. They're sort of like an ankle boot, I guess you can say. Um, they have patent leather detailing and regular detailing. They're sort of a... Um, Sort of a sort of a saddle shoe, but it's black on black. I don't know if you can sort of see that detailing where it would be a saddle shoe. It's got a ribbon for the lacing. And it's just really pretty fun, you know, uh, from a distance. It looks really, really sort of nice and sleek. And if you're a woman with, like, let's say feet tattoos or whatever, this is just sort of a nice way to cut that off and break it up. Um... And, yeah, it's not your typical stiletto. It's not as sexy. You're definitely not going to see your toes. But I think it is still kind of sexy. I like the look of it. And then it just has sort of this heel. I'd say the heel is about three inches, so it is more comfortable than some. It doesn't arch up your foot completely. Some people would say that these shoes are a little old school style, but that's kind of uh, the idea. And they look really nice with pants, too, and if you're daring enough to wear them with a skirt, that's all part of the fun. 